Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So today's Monday. Weekend went by fast, but I didn't do much, so I really rested. So we have two eggs over medium. Um, I got tomato that I cut up. Ham, toast, and my yogurt. So, went shopping Saturday, walked to no frills, then I got Ian to pick me up afterwards, and did my laundry. I had two loads. I did one in the morning and one I came back. Cut my hair, dyed it, turned out like a pink. Anyway, supposed to be like a burgundy or something. But, um, anyway, it's okay. Um, yesterday, went to No Frills. Picked up those strawberries. couple other things I needed. And I made that creamy chicken shepherd's pie, which was good. I froze too. I'm not going to have one today though. I got other things in there. I, I made two to freeze and then I had some left over. So last night I had a little bit more, so that's why I don't want it today. Because I had it twice. Um, I just sat home. I watched The Gray Man. Then I watched Your Place or Mine. And then I watched um, Frankie Jake's Mysteries the last couple episodes of the season Pretty Hard Cases yes, yesterday I watched they had a new <coughs> a new season out and I didn't realize Pretty Hard Cases with the two women cross so, these are Canadian programs, at least. They're saying they're based out of Toronto, sort of thing. CBC. You can get the app. That's where I watch Murdoch Mysteries and Frank, Frankie Drake and I was watching Calls of the Heart, but haven't seen them come out with a new one. So, I didn't have seen them yet. When the, when the heart calls or something like that. He passed away and then she started seeing someone else. But they did. They found the body, so he won't be coming back. Pretty sure the funeral. They had the body. She had his baby. And that was the last episode.
you know. It was a peaceful weekend. Didn't get my ice cream. Could have went across the street and got a Sunday at McDonald's if I really wanted one. But I picked up a black uh, velvet cake. And I cut up some strawberries yesterday and sliced them up and had it with the cake. I went down in old frills, I was going to buy it. I've been out of cake and whipped cream and have it with my good strawberry shortcake pie. It, it was cheaper just to buy the red velvet. It was already cooked. It had uh, cream cheese icing. So, yeah. I didn't have to buy the whipped cream. And I'll put some of that in my life. That'd be my lunch today. Someone asked if you could make peas, put peas and carrots and whatever. Oh yeah, in the chicken lasagna. That's how I had it at my arm. But I just wanted to do something different. But I think she... I think she just put carrots though. There was no color to it. It was all creamy and white. I think she only put Parmesan cheese too. I don't think she put either put carrots or she put corn. I can't remember. But I ate there quite a bit so she might have made it two times. I was young. Mom used to, after mom and dad separated, used to go to Montreal a lot to go see her sisters. In the summertime, I would go at school. Or she took the train. I'd stay at on on jeans. And Uncle Ernie's. I'd stay there. And at school. many times I went to Montreal back and forth. So today's three years anniversary that my mom passed away. Three years. Bro and my father went to her funeral.
wasn't going to come to Albert. Um, at the end of it, I wouldn't have been able to take care of her. She didn't want me to anyway. She wanted to go down back home. So I came here. I wasn't going to move back. Not yet, anyway. Even when I retire, I'll probably move to Fredericton. But in 10 years' time, you never know. I might decide to move back home. I was born and raised. It's hard to get around when you don't have when you don't have the vehicle. Got eh? a lot of relatives and people I graduated with. Hook up with someone that I went to school with or something, and if they got a vehicle. could do that. I like, I like Fredericton. So much to do in the summertime. Wintertime, no, but that's, that's all over. When you're younger, maybe. I like to go. We have to not. Outdoors doing stuff. You could. Activities. Wouldn't be so boring. Because I don't like doing anything outdoors now. When I was younger, I really didn't like the outdoors either. I didn't like to skate. Didn't like ice fishing. Couldn't ski. And didn't like going sliding. Even if I was just warm, I just I I'm just I was just didn't like outdoor sports. I wasn't an outdoors person in the winter time. Summertime, take me to the lake. I spend the whole day in the water. Just come out to eat. Down home in the summertime, there's a lot of outdoor activities down. Bands and outdoor concerts who can catch the bus to the lake, go swimming, spend the day. Farmer's market. We live downtown. Always stuff to do. Every weekend. That's when I retire though. I'm not planning on getting my license back, so that's why I want to, wouldn't want to live down in a small town. Like I said, I got relatives and stuff, but I would move 
back downtown where all the action and everything is. Probably try to get one of them senior units there. Downtown. Yeah. Another eight years. Another eight. I've been here five. I was here <clears throat> for one year and then went back home. And then five, so in total, more close to six years. Not consecutive, but. eight years the grandkids be old enough. They'll be teens. We have to be off to college or something by then. She'll be 11 in August so she'll be 19. Age to seven and eight years, you'll be fifteen, Clara thirteen. And those generation Zs won't want nothing to do with the generation X when they're twelve, thirteen. sentiments on the internet. Maybe simply um general. on the internet. Everything is video chat. Video chat and playing games. Yeah. Different generation. different generation. So it's going to be nice enough today. Plus three feel like minus three or something, but it's going to be nice. So tonight, I'll walk home. I got my hoodie and I'll probably wear my winter jacket. be about minus 12. Which is perfect. Minus 12 when you're walking it. You stand still open it for a while. It will get cold, but when you're walking, I thought, <coughs> 
Wanda must have went over bros yesterday. They're doing that Super Bowl thing or whatever. I was watching that Green Bay's not in it. I don't want to. I don't care. I think she went over bros. Dane and his sister and all of them or something. They're supposed to be there. Kind of watched a little first up to see what was going on on Saturday. Glenn and Bro at having Tim Hortons in the car muckball. That's all I found out he wasn't coming. Gonna keep that. Uh, if he does come, next time next Sunday. I picked up a white milk quiz, shrimp clams, uh, Saturday we'll have to go get celery and no frills and um, see if I can find some scallops or something because I want to make a seafood chowder, right? Not the red sauce, but the white one. I don't think Albert has a red sauce. One's New England and one's... One's New England and what's the other one? I think New England is the red sauce, isn't it? But some people with the white sauce, uh, milk base, should say, one's tomato base and one's milk base. They uh, fry up bacon and crumble it on top. I've never done that. I see food chowder. So. I'll cook. I'll cook that Sunday just before he comes. But I'll find out the night before and make sure he's coming. Because I didn't video me cooking it, but when we were living over there together, he, he happened to come home or something and I cooked only enough for one person. And, but we filmed us eating it, but I never, I didn't film me making it. And then she, he told me that he mentioned on his channel that I, I make a good, or I make a tasty seafood chowder. I might, I'll do the milk. And then he, he never tastes that tomato base either. I'll probably just do a clam tomato base. next time he comes. But I really never had that one. See, I don't like clamato juice. Clams and tomato juice, but that's why I don't want to buy a whole bunch of seafood and then don't like it, you know what I mean? That'd be a waste of money. Seafood is expensive up here, but that milk fish, I usually like, if I was down home, I would do, I had it or cod or halibut or something. But I don't have two clues what a milk fish is, but it's white, as long as it's white, white fish. I don't like salmon and seafood chowder. It's too rich. But down home, not here, you can get um, where they sell the fish. You can get a fish pack. It's cut up everything, like the shrimps and everything, and you tell them how many pounds you want. 
and they want to make a seafood chowder, right? They got scallop, shrimp, and the John Ice, and they got it all. They do have a couple pieces of salmon, not that many in it, but I usually take them out. I don't put them in my. I did once, and I just found it just didn't belong there. Salmon probably would go good with the tomato, uh, tomato bait. Chowder, I just put one. I'll make it the way I had it rolled across on the on the boat PEI that time. The ferry. They didn't put bacon on top of it either. But they put sour. I never ever had it with celery, but you got to put celery. Real celery too. Don't put celery seed or celery spice. It just don't taste right. You gotta have the celery. Celery's so expensive. But I'll pick it up next weekend. I had to go back to No Frills and pick up a few things, so. Bread, yogurt. I gotta pick up an olive oil. I gotta write all this down. Yesterday I picked up flour and I picked up um, yeast. When I went back. I make some rolls with the clam chowder. I'll use my I'll use my um oh muffin tin and roll it and put three. That'll be good. I did bread, didn't I? Homemade rolls with seafood chowder. Oh, that's fridge. But I got a full size fridge, so it's not old, too. This kitchen's brand new. And I can't see them. It, the fridge and the stove and dishwasher was brand new, but I thought they made the I thought they made the fridge in that kitchen here in any way. It's a cheap kitchen though. But backsplash is nice. And the countertop, I mean, could be worse. I'm happy with my kitchen. It's hard to film though with the gal, gal uh, this type of kitchen because when I rinse or wash my hands, you can't see my face. But I mean, you know how to strain potatoes when they're cooked and stuff like that. I don't think you have to really see me straining it in a strainer. But yeah, you guys should try that chicken chicken uh, lasagna or shepherd's pie you can put whatever vegetable I just wanted something different so excuse me I'm always using those frozen pits and peas and 
I wanted to make a difference because I, I bought it before I had five pro with the company. And uh, so next week I'll do a DC. So that's it today. Upload this. Lay down for, well, this is uploading. Takes almost an hour. 45 minutes anyway. I'll just lay back and relax while this is uploading. I don't know how my camera's picking up. I'm just looking at the thing up there. Yeah. Well, today's Monday. At least I don't work with that kid, a day cleaner. I got Thursday in the purple. Hopefully they change that. I'm not doing the day Thursday, no. I gotta walk home, I got enough to do. I'm not doing it. They should figure it out, what they're gonna do with them. Anyhow, so, you guys all have a good day, and stay safe, and it is cigarette time.